Microsoft tells us that the free upgrade to Windows 10 stopped on July 29th, 2016. We'll see about that. So Microsoft is very confusing because later on, after that date of July 29th, 2016, they said, no, you know what, if you have accessibility reasons, you can still upgrade from 7 or 8.1 up to Windows 10 without having to buy a, a license or anything like that. But then later, on their website, they officially say you, you can't upgrade this for free anymore. That option is over since that July 29th, 2016. But you can still upgrade your machine using the media creation tool. In order to do that, you need to use a Windows 10 license key, an activation key. So you need to purchase one. Looking at other things like Tech Radar and CNET, that kind of thing, it says no, you can still upgrade your Windows 7 or 8.1 using your Windows 7 or 8.1 activation product key in that tool, and you can still upgrade to Windows 10. But officially, Microsoft says no. And the reason why Microsoft officially says no is because at least Canadian dollars for their home, Windows Home, they are charging $189 for real. $189 for that. Now, you can go to other sites like Kinguin. I think you can still get it around for about $30 or $40 on that Kinguin site. If you go to Amazon, you can get it for around $115, $120 for the Windows Home. So if you're looking it up and you'd be like, you know, I want to still upgrade to Windows 10, Windows 7 support is gone, and so I need to upgrade to Windows 10. If you looked on the Microsoft website, you would automatically say, I have to purchase a Windows key. And then you could purchase it through them, which would be crazy, or you would look through the other sites. But I'm going to show you that it still works. In 2020, I can still upgrade using an old Windows 7 key. The other thing I'm going to try to do is install using Windows uh, XP key, or uh, I have an old Windows Vista key. I don't expect those to work because they didn't even they didn't even say they were supported. But who knows? Microsoft has been kind of lying to us to some degree. You know, they're trying to make money, well, as most companies are. I decided to use an old key that I had from a refurbished computer. This is another thing Microsoft always says. Their servers will say, no, this is not accepted because this was already used on a different computer. So you're not allowed to use it on that computer because that's the same key. But you'll see, that's not true either. Let's give it a shot, Ladybug Adventure style. Some of you out there are going like, yeah, I knew this already and that's fine, that's great. But for other, other people out there who are looking this up, I want you to really just always take things with a little bit of a grain of salt and you know what, it doesn't hurt to try it. And like I showed you, Windows 7 keys still work on a new install. Well, time for the joke of the day. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> so bad. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.